Cave paintings are paintings found on cave walls and ceilings, and especially those of prehistoric origin, which date back to some 40,000 years ago in both Asia and Europe. The exact purpose of the Paleolithic cave paintings is not known. Evidence suggests that they were not merely decorations of living areas since the caves in which they have been found do not have signs of ongoing habitation. They are also often located in areas of caves that are not easily accessible. Some theories hold that cave paintings may have been a way of communicating with others while other theories ascribe a religious or ceremonial purpose to them. The paintings are remarkably similar around the world, with animals being common subjects that give the most impressive images. Humans mainly appear as images of hands, mostly hand stencils made by blowing pigment on a hand held to the wall. The earliest known cave paintings, drawings of animals are at least 35,000 years old, at Moros on the island of Sulawesi in Indonesia, according to datings announced in 2014. Previously it was believed that the earliest paintings were in Europe. The earliest figurative paintings in Europe date back to the Aurignacian period, approximately 30,000 to 32,000 years ago, and are found in the Chalvet Cave in France, and in the Kolaboia Cave in Romania. The earliest non-figurative rock art dates back to approximately 40,000 years ago. The date, given both to a disc in the El Castillo Cave in Cantabria, Spain and a hand stencil in Sulawesi. There are similar later paintings in Africa, Australia and South America, continuing until recent times in some places, though there is a worldwide tendency for open-air rock art to succeed paintings deep in caves. History of Discovery Age nearly 340 caves have now been discovered in France and Spain that contain art from prehistoric times. Initially, the age of the paintings had been a contentious issue, since methods like radiocarbon dating can produce misleading results if contaminated by samples of older or newer material, and caves and rocky overhangs are typically littered with debris from many time periods. But subsequent technology has made it possible to date the paintings by sampling the pigment itself and the torch marks on the walls. The choice of subject matter can also indicate chronology. For instance, the reindeer depicted in the Spanish cave of Cueva de las Monedas places the drawings in the last ice age. The oldest date given to an animal cave painting is now a pig that has a minimum age of 35,400 years old at Moros in Sulawesi an Indonesian island. Indonesian and Australian scientists have dated other non-figurative paintings on the walls to be approximately 40,000 years old. The method they used to confirm this was dating the age of the stalactites that formed over top of the paintings. This is effectively the same dating than a red disc from the cave of El Castillo in Cantabria, northern Spain, where there are of minimum ages of 40.8 thousand years for a red disc, 37.3 thousand years for a hand stencil, and 35.6 thousand years for a claviform-like symbol. The art is similar in style and method to that of the Indonesian caves as there were also hand stencils and discs made by blowing paint on to their walls. Cave paintings in El Castillo Cave were found to date back to at least 37,300 years old by researchers at Bristol University, making them the oldest known cave art in Europe, 5 minus 10,000 years older than previous examples from France. This date coincides with the earliest known evidence for Homo sapiens in Europe. Because of the cave art's age, some scientists have conjectured that the paintings may have been made by Neanderthals. The earliest known European figurative cave paintings are those of Chalvet Cave in France. These paintings date to earlier than 30,000 BCE according to radiocarbon dating. Some researchers believe the drawings are too advanced for this era and question this age. However, more than 80 radiocarbon dates had been obtained by 2011, with samples taken from torch marks and from the paintings themselves.
as well as from animal bones and charcoal found on the cave floor. The radiocarbon dates from these samples show that there were two periods of creation in Chalvert, 35,000 years ago and 30,000 years ago. One of the surprises was that many of the paintings were modified repeatedly over thousands of years, possibly explaining the confusion about finer paintings that seem to date earlier than cruder ones. In 2009, Cavers discovered drawings in Kolaboia Cave in Romania, stylistically comparable to those at Chalvert. An initial dating puts the age of an image in the same range as Chalvert about 32,000 years old. In Australia, cave paintings have been found on the Arnhem Land Plateau showing megafauna, which are thought to have been extinct for over 40,000 years, making this site another candidate for oldest known painting. However, the proposed age is dependent on the estimate of the extinction of the species seemingly depicted. Another Australian site, Noalaga Barn Mang, has charcoal drawings that have been radiocarbon dated to 28,000 years, making it the oldest site in Australia and among the oldest in the world for which reliable date evidence has been obtained. Other examples may date as late as the early Bronze Age, but the well-known Magdalenian style seen at Lasso in France and Altamira in Spain died out about 10,000 BCE, coinciding with the advent of the Neolithic period. Some caves probably continued to be painted over a period of several thousands of years. The next phase of surviving European prehistoric painting, the rock art of the Iberian Mediterranean basin, was very different, concentrating on large assemblies of smaller and much less detailed figures, with at least as many humans as animals. This was created roughly between 10,000 and 5,500 years ago, and painted in rock shelters under cliffs or shallow caves in contrast to the recesses of deep caves used in the earlier period. Though individual figures are less naturalistic, they are grouped in coherent grouped compositions to a much greater degree. Subjects, themes and patterns The most common subjects in cave paintings are large wild animals, such as bison, horses, or ox, and deer, and tracings of human hands as well as abstract patterns, called finger flutings. The species found most often were suitable for hunting by humans, but were not necessarily the actual typical prey found in associated deposits of bones. For example, the painters of Lasso have mainly left reindeer bones, but this species does not appear at all in the cave paintings, where equine species are the most common. Drawings of humans were rare and are usually schematic as opposed to more detailed and naturalistic images of animal subjects. One explanation for this may be that realistically painting the human form was forbidden by a powerful religious taboo. Kiran D. O'Hara, geologist, suggests in his book Cave Art and Climate Change that climate controlled the themes depicted. Pigments used include red and yellow ochre, hematite, manganese oxide and charcoal. Sometimes the silhouette of the animal was incised in the rock first, and in some caves all or many of the images are only engraved in this fashion, taking them somewhat out of a strict definition of cave painting. Similarly, large animals are also the most common subjects in the many small carved and engraved bone or ivory pieces dating from the same periods. But these include the group of Venus figurines, which have no real equivalent in cave paintings. Hand stencils, made by placing a hand on the wall and blowing pigment at it, form a characteristic image of a roughly round area of solid pigment with the uncolored shape of the hand in the center, which may then be decorated with lines or dashes. These are often found in the same caves as other paintings, or may be the only form of painting in a location. Some walls contain many hand stencils. Similar hands are also painted in the usual fashion. A number of hands show a finger wholly or partly missing, for which a number of explanations have been given. Hand images are found in similar forms in Europe, Eastern Asia and South America. Theories and interpretations Henry Broy interpreted the paintings as being hunting magic, meant to increase the number of animals, 
Another theory, developed by David Lewis Williams and broadly based on ethnographic studies of contemporary hunter-gatherer societies, is that the paintings were made by Paleolithic shamans. The shaman would retreat into the darkness of the caves, enter into a trance state, and then paint images of their visions, perhaps with some notion of drawing power out of the cave walls themselves. R. Dale Guthrie, who has studied both highly artistic and publicized paintings in a variety of lower quality art and figurines, identifies a wide range of skill and ages among the artists. He hypothesizes that the main themes in the paintings and other artifacts are the work of adolescent males, who constituted a large part of the human population at the time. However, in analyzing hand prints and stencils in French and Spanish caves, Dean Snow of Pennsylvania State University has proposed that a proportion of them, including those around the spotted horses in Peshmerl, were of female hands.